Hello and welcome to my channel, Becoming Bev. In today's video, I'm coming to you from Poland. It's kind of interesting when I mentioned to my friends that I was coming to Poland, it's like, girl, what in the world are you going to Poland for? Years ago, my friend Lewis and I were talking and this was back before I'd ever done any traveling. Lewis was at a place in his life where he had kind of made a commitment to helping other people's dreams come true. He and I were talking one day and I said, I feel like I'm never gonna get to go anywhere. I'm never gonna get to do any traveling. So Lewis came back and made a commitment to me to take me on one amazing vacation a year. So we've been to some awesome places. Lewis does this thing called home exchange, where basically he trades his apartment in New York for all these amazing places all over the world. He got a request from a couple that lives in Warsaw, Poland, and Lewis has Polish ancestry. So he and his girlfriend, Stacy decided that our trip this year would be to Poland. And I gotta say, Poland is really an underrated country. I've been fascinated with all the history and the beauty and the churches and castles and everything that I've got to see so far. So it started off, you know, we get to our apartment in Warsaw and of course we need provisions first and the jet lag was pretty powerful. So we needed just a couple of days to rest and regroup. Now it's interesting, there's a shopping mall just about a 15 minute walk from the apartment that we're staying in. And I gotta tell you, it's so different than our shopping malls here in the US. In their shopping malls, they have the equivalent of like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. So they have these giant hardware stores in there. They have the equivalent to our, you know, I'll say Walmart or Target. It's kind of funny to see people walking around the mall with their shopping carts full of buckets of paint and, you know, light fixtures and things like that. Um, I was also surprised. So basically the big mega stores, you know, were on the bottom floor, the places where you could go buy electronics and TVs. And um, also on the bottom floor, there were several lingerie shops, which surprised me. Now up on the second floor, you have your typical clothes clothing stores and the things that we typically find in our American malls. So Stacy and I went and we were walking the mall, you know, gathering provisions. And I look out the window and I see this big steeple, you know, a little bit in the distance, but you know, it looks walkable. So I told Stacy, let's walk over there to that and check it out. So we walk about, you know, maybe 10 minutes or so from the mall and, you know, we find the steeple, which is this beautiful Catholic church. And then just up the way, I see an arch with a statue. I was just kind of blown away, like one of the most beautiful cemeteries. No, I won't even say one of the most, the most beautiful cemetery I've ever seen in my life. Like this place looked like a sculpture art gallery. So Stacy and I were out walking today and we were leaving the mall and we saw these steeples. So we're like, let's go check it out but we ended up finding this crazy graveyard. Like, look at this thing. We ended up walking in the cemetery for probably an hour or so just in awe. Um, so I came back home and I did a bit of research. The cemetery is called Pawaski Cemetery and it's the oldest um, and best known Catholic cemetery in Warsaw. It was founded in 1790. So there are tombstones that date, you know, all the way back then. It's rumored that over a million people are buried there. And the cemetery is 44 hectares, which is our equivalent to 109 acres. Now, another thing I had a question about with this cemetery was there were a lot of candles, you know, sitting around on the, the tombstones. So in my research, I found out that on All Saints Day, which is November 1st, people come to the cemetery and light thousands of candles. So I can imagine that's quite, um, quite a sight to see. So I'm gonna hush and just put a little bit of music to this and you know, just give you guys a little taste of what I saw in this cemetery.
hear the crows in the background. more that I want to share with you about this trip. It's been absolutely incredible. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your patience on me not posting as many videos as I had been. I just get busy with life and sometimes I don't want to take a down day, you know, the time that it takes to edit and upload a video, but I do want to share this with you guys. It's absolutely incredible. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my Patreon and channel members. I appreciate you so much. Mm -hmm.